Spores kicks and fires. He struck him out looking. It's over. It's over. The Rangers have won the World Series. Ranger fans, you're not dreaming. The Rangers are the World Series champions. After 52 years in Texas, 63 years of the franchise. The wait is over. And the celebration has begun. Every year, spring training is special. But this year, the place looks a little different. For the first time ever, the Texas Rangers arrived to spring training as the World Series champions. After the shortest offseason in their history, the team has just six weeks to prepare for the opening of the 2024 season. I'm world champion. It's great to see you guys uh, and you new faces. Uh, welcome. Thanks for joining us, uh, you free agents. Uh, and it's great to have you uh, uh, join us. You're going to make us better lately. And uh, you new faces. You know, one thing I want to tell you guys, uh, the first year guys I'm talking about, congrats. Man, enjoy this. All right, have fun with it. Last year for me was just the start of what we're going to do as an organization. It was an unbelievable year. It was awesome. We're the best team in the world, defending world champions. But that's just the start, guys. I really believe this team is destined to do something more special. I said this publicly, success for us as an organization is going to be defined by what we do from here forward. Last year was great, it was the start, but what we are going to do here forward is going to define who we are as an organization and how great we truly are. And you know, with that, the talent in this room is as good as any major league team out there. And I believe in the talent here as much as I believe in anything. But what is going to elevate us even further are the people. It's you guys. It's the character and the culture of this group. That is the separator for the Texas Rangers. We saw that last year, and I truly believe we are going to do this again because of the character. Not only the talent, but the character. And I'll put your character and I'll put your talent up against anybody in the big leagues. I can't wait to get started. Again, I thank you all. I wish you the best of luck, a healthy spring. If you need anything, we're here, and, uh, and have fun, guys. Thank you. With that, the offseason ends, and the work to run it back begins. The staff, we get together and just, you know, plan out the day and make sure everybody's where they should be, when they should be there, and uh, we're taking care of our responsibilities. Taking care of responsibilities, or dominating the fundamentals, is a core principle for this team. It's embodied in the leadership of players like Marcus Simeon. Some guys are here really, really early. You know, Marcus is probably one of the first guys to show up. Marcus Simeon, he likes to get here early. He's very uh, routine oriented, so he likes to get his workout in. And a lot of guys are following his routine. Uh, he's got that championship mindset, and we love that. Oh, that's important. That's good. Yeah, he's he's playing 162 games a year. I always kind of mess with him. I'm like, I kind of want to play second base, but he doesn't take any days off, so it's it's hard to get in there. But he's just he's a grinder, man. He's He's a, he's a guy who came from college who really wasn't like a super high draft pick, but he's really worked his way up to where he is. And he's, I mean, he's, he's a top MVP candidate every year. And it's, it's fun to watch because it's not luck. He, he works his butt off at it. And he's, he's in the weight room every day taking ground balls. He's, he's just a hard worker. Simeon played in every game of the 2023 season with the most played appearances ever in Major League history. Probably say about 10 days. Um, and that, when I say rest, I'm not doing baseball activity, but I got back into the, the weight room in about 10 days. Well, it's hard, you know, you, you lift weights, you run, you put on spikes, you make sure your feet are in shape, your arms in shape. Uh, but once you get out here to spring training, there's nothing like playing a baseball game. And no matter what, you're gonna be a little bit sore, but that's why we go through it. You know, it's, it's about a five week camp um, and, and every day matters. I think this is year three, you know, of us all together. First year was, as an offense, we did okay. Um, but last year was, you know, we were an elite offense and we played great defense and we, we did some really good things that helped us win it all. And, you know, now that we're all back together, 
we all want to find ways to improve. And when you can say, I want to improve after winning a world championship, you know, I think the sky's the limit. Bang, bang. Wow. Oh. All right, Leo. Our core has been together now for a couple years and it's just building off those relationships and building off that, that camaraderie. You know, now we can move forward and know what to expect in every moment. We spend more time together than we do with our families, I feel like, you know, especially if the families aren't traveling with you at all times. Uh, so we got to really enjoy what we're doing and being around each other and being at the field. And I think the Rangers do a great job of like having them get togethers on the road. You know, we'll set something up. We'll be able to go to dinners, things like that. Or we'll have some events set up to where, you know, again, we enjoy being around each other a lot. So um, it's definitely important to have that good team chemistry and be pulling for one another. The core may be in place, but there are plenty of guys in camp looking to make the team. We'll evaluate players. Uh, there, there are some spots that are up for competition. There are some spots that are not. And, you know, players will have a chance to, to uh, you know, separate themselves and, 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 and make a name for themselves. I think that's how we get better and we keep competing. We're rooting for each other. It's not like I, I want to be better than him or he has to be better than me. It's, you know, obviously we're trying to one-up each other out there. And I think that's where you get that friendly competition and that competitiveness from all of us that makes us better. What's up, guys? Sam Huff. Welcome to Fo Day. Let's go. Yeah, what are we doing? Take that stuff here. You can sit in the chair right there. Friendly competition can also turn into friendly jabs when the guys step onto the photo sets at spring training. Everyone, this is Justin Foskey, Mississippi State. <laughs> Just letting everyone know. Great job, Justin. Really good. Justin, that shirt's too small, man. It's upside down, bud. Oh, it's upside down. Hey! Am I distracting you? <laughs> <laughs> Come with me to do my content shoot. That's a wrap. No more posing. No more shoots. Now, the hard work of defending the title begins. Nobody is, is sitting here reminiscing on, oh, we, we did it, we accomplished it. No, we want more, you know? We, we got a taste of it, now, you know, we want more of it. Rangers All Access is presented by T-Mobile, America's largest and fastest 5G network.